Hey everybody, this is Jason Matthews, your financial guru. Today, the House of Representatives signed on their behalf, vote I should say, and approved the new $2 trillion stimulus package that we have to help fight us this coronavirus. The next step on the way is to go see, uh, it goes to Donald Trump, where he will sign the bill. Now, this $2 trillion is way more massive than what we have seen in the 2008 during that stimulus package of a little bit over $7 billion. So today, I want to talk about, you know, I've been studying and reading it, great articles about this information. What's actually into this stimulus package. So today, sit down, get educated, and really understand what's really going to be in the stimulus package. First and foremost, when we look at this stimulus package, there is a new unemployment benefits that everybody can get if you get filed unemployment. Now, you will still get your state unemployment, which will stay the same, but now you would get from the feds, if you have to file for unemployment, you would get additional $600 per week for unemployment. So the state, your state unemployment will be the exact same. But then the federal government is going to give you $600 every week that you file for unemployment. What the Federal Reserve did not want to happen is that you get more money unemployed than you're still working. So this was the number that came about, which, which was $600, $600 for you if you file for unemployment. Next thing, there's a lot of information, so we're going to take our time with this today. Um, also, the next thing they have was individuals who make $75,000 or less will get $1,200 in stimulus money. As long as you file your taxes in 2018, you will get a $1,200 if you make $75,000 or less. If you're a family, you could get an altogether $2,400. And then every single one of your kids, you will receive $500 in stimulus money for every child you have. So the more children you have, the more you get. Now, if you make between $7,500 as an individual and $100,000 a year, there's a downhill threshold on how much money you would get. And anybody over $100,000 okay, or, or a couple that makes two hundred dollars will receive $0 out of this, out of this stimulus package. This is a one-time check. It's not going to happen over and over, so we just want to give you guys a heads up on that. There's a lot of information. If you do have questions regarding this, make sure you email us regarding this. The next thing is that there's now there's going to, the Treasury Department is going to give $500 billion in loans to, it's got divided up between uh, airline companies, cities, and states. So there's going to be $500 billion dollars for airlines, companies, cities, and states to get federal loans to help them during this downturn crisis. Okay? Also, for hospitals, there is a $100 billion in the form of grants. Now, the reason that hospitals got $100 billion in grants from this is because right now, if you go to the hospital, they're not doing any surgeries unless they say it's a medical necessity, which means it's a life-driven uh, thing. So hospitals are losing tons and tons of money because of that. So to replace that, they're giving around $100 billion in grants. So here are loans. Hospitals get grants, which means they never have to pay back, but the money has to be documented for them to do that. Okay. Also, airline companies will also get another $58 billion. And they're going to divide this $58 billion in between 20... 29 billion in grants and another 29 billion in loans additionally. So airline companies, because of this, they will get additional 58 billion dollars. But me personally, what kills us about this is that in 2008, the airlines companies got bailed out. And what they did was with the money that got bailed out, they became profitable. Instead of putting money back for the rainy day for our times, they went back and purchased uh, what they call stock buybacks. In another video, we're about to come out with, we will be talking more about what stock buybacks is. So make sure you subscribe so you really understand what that is. Here's another big one right now for small business owners. Small business owners, here's a huge one for you. You want to really understand what's going on now with this one right here for you small business owners. Business owners, right, you will get a tax credit. They're not giving you money at this point, but they will give you a tax credit 
afford anybody that you do not lay off, no layoffs, and they'll give you half the funds to keep them working up to $5,000. The key though is to get this $5,000, you're going to have to show the money that you spent 50% up to half the payroll. So let's say that person makes 10,000, you pay 5,000. But you have to show to the government that quarter over quarter from 2019 to 2020 quarter, that the 2019 quarter, it was more than, uh, that 2020 quarter I should say, that your money had got cut in half compared to 2019. And if you could prove that, you'll get a $5,000 tax credit per week for each employee you have, which is a huge one. Now, re but remember this, when they give you this 50% tax credit, that means unlimited during this period of time for uh, however this lasts long. So there's not a dollar amount for this, but this is a huge thing for you. Here's another major winner from this that you would not even think about who's getting a major winner on this whole thing. It's our US military. Now our military has, already has a blank check on a lot of the things that they're receiving. But what they have announced right now is the Pentagon gets $10.5 billion. Now, what's crazy is that 10.5, 1.5 billion of it go to the National Guard. It's gonna help them if they have to employ or dispatch 20,000 troops to help out during this coronavirus, which means you might see troops coming into your town, your city and community to make sure everything is shut down and help reinforcement. So we might see some uh, martial law happening more and more as there is now $1.5 billion to help fight that. Also, the Pentagon did get $450 million as well to, for research and development to fight the corona, okay, and vaccines. So out of 10.5, 1.5 on National Guard, 450 million is going to uh, research and development for the fight vaccines. The question I have is out of this 10.5 billion dollars, what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing with the rest of these funds? Because this is only two billion. What are we doing the rest of it? This was something you might want to talk to your congressman, your senator, write a letter and say, how can we pass this, giving them $8 billion after we, we have not cut our budget for defense in so many years. Also, this is a huge, another big thing for small business owners as well. Small business owners usually pay 6.2% uh, in payroll tax. Now, this is going to be deferred, where the first half of this payroll tax is due December, 31st of 2021, you're going to owe 50% of how much you def of, the, of you're not paying your payroll tax. And then another 50% is owed the following year on 12 31 of 2022. So right now, I know a lot of small businesses are struggling and you're trying to make payroll. And a portion of what makes it hard for you to pay payroll is not having your payroll taxes. Well, right now, you don't have to worry about paying your payroll until 2021 or 50% of it do, and then another in 2022. So this could be a, help, a great way for you to go ahead and, and figure out where to put the money at. For you guys, for, I should say, help you a great way to make sure you make payroll to pay your employees during this hard times that we have. Also, telemedicine gets $200 million. So this should tell us in the wave of the future, we want to see more and more doctors who are going to be doing calls through the computer for our uh, for our doctor visits instead of us going to a facility. Think about that. There's not you're going to have less, less of us going to go for our annual checkups and our other checkups or our doctor needs over the phone through our computer at home instead of going to a hospital or a doctor visit. Now, also, the Democrats help wait, helped out schools and other entities, try to get schools and other entities to get help for providing internet. So, for instance, my son, he's doing internet at home. So schools were asking the Democratic Party for $2 billion. They did not get the $2 billion. Cruise companies, you see cruise companies are suffering right now, but the one thing that cruise companies are, a lot of them are not based in the United States. They avoid huge taxes and play all these tax loopholes they take advantage of, so they're not technically based in the United States. Even though a lot of their places are in the United States, if they do a lot of business and the tourists come from the United States, they are actually not a U.S. company. But they were looking at a bailout, and they did not get a bailout at all. Restaurants, retailers looking for bailouts, they did not get it. But who did give a bailout? The post office. The post office to help keep them from going in default 
which they've been fighting for years now, they just got an additional $10 billion as well, okay? So why does this matter? The people are, they are fearful that the uh, Postal Service will go into default. So avoid that, which they were on the break of it, going in June possibly estimating, if because of the lack of mail. And so instead of them going in default, they just got $10 billion, right? We're throwing these numbers out like crazy, like crazy. It's crazy right now. Farmers and ranchers got $24 billion, right? Farmers and ranchers got $24 billion, right? Also, schools got $30 billion as well. So universities got $30 billion. Also, one of the greatest things at all, last one, distilleries don't have to pay no alcohol taxes. So now we're going to pay less in taxes for, for our bourbon, our vodka, to q and I know there's a lot of information right here, but I think this is very helpful during this time as this $200 billion stimulus package you just got approved once again by the House. It's going to be on Trump's desk by Monday, and he's going to sign it, and then this money will come. Now, do I think this is going to be the last stimulus package we have? I say no. Well, I think this is not the last stimulus package we have because it's not going to be enough to keep our economy going. And when I say that, I'm thinking that we won't even get people back to work until May or June as the coronavirus is still growing. When, if you listen to Gavin Newsom uh, in the past, he said that kids will not be able to go back to school until the fall. But yet, but yet people thought he was joking about that. At first, we said two weeks. And now that he, now you're saying May 1st here in, in the Bay Area. But now I truly believe what he said at first was it, and what he was was nickel and diming us to fall into it, knowing instead of telling people your kids ain't going back to school for a year and everybody going panic mode, what they're trying to do is keep people at peace right now, which is what is very important that they don't want things to get out of hand. But if it does, the National Guard got some money to make sure things don't get out of hand by using military use. Now, if you have any other questions, you have more thoughts about this, give me a call at 510-229-7608 or leave us a comment below. Hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. Enjoy time with your family during this period. Talk to you later.